everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we are gonna do a Will I Buy It? I tend to do these towards the middle of the month because I feel like when I do them at the beginning of the month, I don't know, it just seems like the, the cycle seems to be after like the first couple of days of the month, all these new releases come out. So if I do them at around the middle of the month, I seem to capture more. I don't know, that could just be in my head and I could be totally wrong. Um, there are a couple of Instagram accounts that I follow to get all this information. She profile is amazing. Tavia, Tavia, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, if it's Tavia, please let me know, but I think it's Tavia, does an amazing job and she's always up on the newest, newest releases. I think it's Angel Naked One is another account that I follow. Trend Mood One, which, you know, we're all familiar with Trend Mood and Makeup Crazy who has, I, I love, I love her commentary on, on a lot of these things. So those are the four accounts. I will put the information down below in my description box. If I put up a picture that is on their Instagram account, I will of course credit whoever had the picture up. I do not use any pictures from their uh, Patreon or personal accounts or anything like that. It's just things that are public that people have posted. Um, and of course I have pictures from the actual accounts. Like if Hourglass posts something, on their site, then I will post that. Um, okay, so let's go through. There's a couple of things. There's a few things that I will be picking up. Oh, I also wanna mention, okay, so <laughs> my brain. So as you know, if you've been watching, September is a one buy, no buy for me. There's one item that I am buying at the end of the month. But for the rest of it, I'm not purchasing anything until October 1. I did do, a, I did sort of cheat uh, I call it a loophole with my legal training. It's a legal loophole. I pre-ordered a bunch of stuff, literally the last day of August, so August 31st, that won't technically be delivered to me in, until like maybe this week or next week. But I did pre-order it, so technically I think that falls into the, I think that's acceptable. Um, but also, many of you have reached out. It's, it's so incredibly kind just so sweet many many of you reached out and offered to to send me things which is really so sweet and and very like honestly i don't know what to say if you would like to send me something anything um i, I would love i would love anything you would send me you want to somebody was talking about you know something that they make on etsy that they would like to send me absolutely i would i would love to look at it and i would love to to put it up on my channel i mean Feel free. Uh, what I realized is that I didn't have a PO box listed in my description on my YouTube page. So that is that is being uh, addressed. <laughs> so the PO box address will be up there. I have to go and put that information in, but it should be up there if not now when this video goes up, soon after. So for all of you who have offered to send me things or are sending me things, and I don't know exactly what you're sending, but Thank you, <laughs> that's incredibly kind and very sweet and I look forward to getting whatever it is you're sending. Um, but don't ever feel a need to send me anything because you don't have to send me anything. I'm not, this is not a please send me things. I just want to thank all of you who, who offered or who are sending me things. That sounded bad. Okay, anyway, let's move on. Uh, so first, um, a lot of this is gonna be holiday guys because you know, it's right around the corner. I know it doesn't feel like it because it's September, but it gets earlier and earlier every year. Uh, so the Guerlain Golden Bloom Collection, it looks like it's gonna launch in October, and then the Pearl Glow Collection, which will be December, and then the Chinese New Year Collection, which will be December as well. I like Guerlain, I really love the, um, oh my goodness, the meteorites. So there looks like there's a meteorite in there that I will definitely pick up. I have to look at the collection and really figure it out. It looks like there's an eyeshadow palette, which I think is like 10 shades. There's a bronzer, there's a bunch of lipsticks with the, you know, the cases, those really cool cases. In fact, they look like this. I've shown you them, they pop open, they have a little mirror inside. They have ones that are like new designs on them. One of them looks like a, I don't know what that is. It's like a Fleur de Lis, I'm not sure, but anyway, it all looks beautiful. I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't look beautiful. I just, I don't, I don't know. That's all. Um, 
Charlotte Tilbury, of course, came out with the bejeweled, I'm looking at my phone, guys, if you're wondering why I'm looking down, I'm looking at the uh, Instagram ca accounts I was referring to. So the bejeweled uh, to hypn eyes to hypnotize, the bejeweled eyes to hypnotize, say that three times fast, Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. It looks really pretty. It really does. I just, I don't need it. And I don't know. I'm not as, it, it looks really pretty and it looks fine. I'm, you know, maybe I'll pick it up. Maybe. <laughs> I just, I don't know why I'm not as excited about it, guys. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't love Charlotte Tilbury. I do. It just, I think I'm just going to wait and see what else pops up. Um, Bobbi Brown has five new eyeshadow palettes. Two of them are the Luxury Palette, uh, Bronze and Burgundy. That comes out in November. The Luxury Palettes, the eyeshadow palettes, the formula of those, at least as far as I remember, are really, really good and really beautiful. They both look lovely. I would probably pick up the bronze, not the burgundy, but maybe both, it depends. I'd have to really see because pictures can be a little bit misleading, but I will probably pick up the bronze because it does look really pretty and I haven't seen the luxury collection around. Um, so that's something I will probably pick up. Dior, you know I'm gonna pick up the Dior, guys. If you've been paying attention to my channel at all, you know that I bought 11, 10, ugh. Dior Quince, uh, and I, I love every single one of them that I've tried so far, so I'm picking up the Dior stuff, but there's different things coming out from Dior. There's the Backstage Glow Face Palettes. There's three versions. Um, there's like a, a pink, a gold, and a bronze. I'm not absolutely sure, but I really like the pink, which I know is surprising for me to say, but it's, it's a cooler, paler, color story. The other two I think will be too deep for me and for my skin tone. Uh, it launches in September in France. So October here, hopefully, maybe, we'll see. The other Dior is the holiday collection. Um, it launches November 1st in Europe. I forget exactly where, I'm not sure. But hopefully October here, I mean, that sounds about right. Uh, you know, it's it's, so hard to tell with these things. Um, again, I'm just looking down at my phone for just a second. I think it, the nail polishes, I don't really, as we've had this discussion, I'm not great with the nail polishes, but they do look really pretty. The blush looks beautiful and I have to have it. The lipsticks I'm definitely going to get because I love the little snowflakes on them. And the two Dior Quints, of course I'm buying those. I mean, that's cool. Um, yeah, the two, two Dior Quints I'm definitely buying. Um, there are, I think, eyeliners as well. Anyway, I'm buying all of it. I'm buying all of it. I love them. I have to have them. It's that simple. They're, they're all mine. If they come out with like a complete, like, you know, huge set or something, I'll just probably buy that because that's how, that's how much I love Dior right now. Um, okay, so the Hourglass Sculpture, you guys have seen that, it's already been released. It released, I'm not sure when this is going up, but at least a couple of days ago. I did not pick it up. Um, I do think it looks beautiful. I love Hourglass. I love the Ghost Palette. But again, the four, the quad is not new shades. The six pan, only three of the shades are new. Again, I'm on a no buy this month. If it still exists in October and it's available, I, will I pick it up? Probably. I'll probably pick up the six pan, but you know, we'll see. Uh, Huda Beauty came out with their, I'm just looking for what they're calling them. Okay. I don't know what they're calling them, but they're, they're, they're mini, there's nine pan palettes. They're nine pan palettes and they come, they came in cocky, purple, and sand. Um, did they already come out? I'm not sure about that one, guys. I thought they came out, I thought they just came out when this goes, well, I'll put the date down below. So, because I'm not absolutely sure. I'm not picking them up, so that's why I don't have, I didn't, I wrote down that I was supposed to put down the launch date and I didn't put it down. So, <laughs> shows you that I wasn't really that in invested in finding it out. So, but I'll put it down below. Um, 
Okay, so um, East Saint Laurent is having Pure Couture lip products. They look gorgeous. Check out Chic Profile. She's got um, lip swatches up. I definitely am interested in those. And East Saint Laurent obviously has like their whole holiday collection. There's like a clutch, like the clutches that I uh, already reviewed, but I think there's face products in there too. I'm not sure if they're lip and cheek. I I'm not positive, but they look beautiful. And I'll definitely pick up that um, that clutch. Uh, there's also like nail polishes. I'm not so sure about that, but I do love the design. Um, and probably I'll pick up some of the, uh, the lip products as well, because I just think that looks really beautiful. The Chanel Beauty Holiday, I will pick up the Chanel Beauty Holiday. There are single shadows. There's the four, you can see the four shadows, the single ones. There's the, um, like the blush highlighter thing, which looks gorgeous. The lipsticks look great. I'll probably get the nude lipstick. I don't know if I'll get all four shades. I'll talk to my Chanel beauty reps out there to let me know which ones they think will look good on me. And I'll, I'll get those. If they think they would all look good on me, I'll pick up all four. We'll see. Um, the LeBeige's, the LeBeige's foundation has already launched and I do have samples coming. And as soon as I have the samples, I will try out the foundation for you. Um, okay, let's see. What else do I have on here? Oh, Clodopo. Clodopo also has a new foundation. I know I have seen, I've tried not to watch, but I have seen some uh, content creators do reviews already. I love Clodopo. It was actually my first real skincare line that I invested in. Like literally I used everything from them. I love their eye makeup remover. If you need a, like a heavy duty eye makeup remover, like for like waterproof, if that doesn't irritate your eyes, that would be one I recommend. I still use it to this day. It's fantastic. I love their concealer. I love their, they have like this highlighting powder and for the holidays, they always have like a special case. It's, I, I'll put the picture up. It, I mean, it's beautiful. They also have a special edition La Creme and I think a serum. They have an eyeshadow palette. They have some lip products. I'll definitely be picking up, if not all of those, most of that. I really, I love those. And then the foundation, I don't have it yet. I am having someone send me samples. Again, I'm trying not to buy during September, so but I am getting samples sent to me so I can try it out for all of you. I don't wanna forget to mention Tom Ford. Tom Ford um, has dropped some hints about some stuff and Chic Profile has, has put up on her site um, the holiday eye color quad that's gonna launch in December. It's not part of the Winter Soleil collection, which will include a new eye quad, which is the white packaging. So this is gonna be the, it's like a black, well, you'll see in the picture, it's like a black, uh, matte kind of look. It's beautiful. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to buy the Winter Sole Soleil collection too. I've also heard hints that there may be a pink one, like the Rose Prick lipstick and the perfume. That's a possibility. So any of those I will be picking up if and when they launch. Also, I just heard that Sonia G might have a new brush, a new buffing brush, possibly. I love Sonia G, so if that's the case, I absolutely will pick that up as well. In addition to all of that are advent calendars. I am a huge beauty advent calendar person. I don't know why. <laughs> what is my obsession? Don't know. I like, I mean, like last year, I think I had three of them maybe four of them, I don't even remember. But the place to go to find out about all of the advent calendar news is really Re. She is a great content creator over on the other side of the pond in the UK and she's beautiful and funny and stunning and I'll put up a picture in case you don't know her. You probably have known her for years. I mean, she's, she's pretty famous here on YouTube. Um, but she has basically like a dedicated space for the advent calendar information. And if you're in the UK, you get access to a lot of the ones that I want that I can't get, which is so incredibly aggravating to me. But anyway, I won't go there. So I'm probably gonna be picking up a bunch of advent calendars too. And I, they start dropping soon, actually, September, uh, some of them, which I cannot buy because I'm not allowed. 
but once October hits, I'll be picking up those as well. So I think that's it for my list. If there's anything that you think I'm missing, let me know and I'll, I'll certainly add it to the list. Uh, but I'd love to hear what you're picking up, what you're thinking of, uh, you know, looking at for the coming months. I love these Will I Buy It's because it's a lot of fun. I don't, you know, to be honest, it's kind of nice to just sit back and chat with all of you guys for a little bit and to see what new things are coming out. Um, these content creators that I mentioned, and like I said, I'll have their links in my description box, do a tremendous job and work really hard to, to give us insights into what's coming up next. So hopefully you'll go over to their Instagram pages, check them out and follow them and tell them I said hi. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in another video really soon. Bye.